Hello guys, today we're talking about Spider-Man from Home, the only MCU this year movie that was not made by Disney, it was made by Sony, and you can always tell that this movie is probably bad. I, I haven't seen Spider-Man and Spider-Verse yet, so I can't really say it's the best Spider-Man movie, but in the past year, in the past year, people have been arguing right of this movie, Spider-Man 2, or Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse uh, is the objectively the greatest Spider-Man movie yet, so I can't really argue it is better than all the other Spider-Man movies because I haven't seen every Spider-Man movie. I know the Amazing. I haven't seen Amazing Spider-Man two, but we all know people hate that movie. It people said it was terrible, but that's the Amazing Spider-Man for you. Um, Amazing Spider-Man two for you, but of course this video is not for kids because this movie is rated PG fourteen, which means this movie is targeted towards teenagers. Okay, I don't have to really explain that to you why a PG fourteen movie is not for kids. Overall, the action scenes are pretty great. Well, you know, and you know, there's I'm gonna actually put some spoilers here. But Mysterio is a pretty great villain. Okay, he is he's probably one of the best villains besides Thanos and Loki and the MCU. Probably the third best villain. Okay, I think he's better than the guy from Black Panther because he is kind of like you know a guy who is tricking everybody. Okay, and I can say the spoilers because at the end of the movie. And there's a post credit scene though, you know, Mysterio is kind of like, you know, saying that Spider-Man is going to kill him and stuff, and, you know, stuff. Yeah, and he is a hero and stuff, and he's like, and basically Mysterio is using, you know, drones and projections to make it, well, you know, it seems like he's actually saving people, but eventually he beats the, he eventually beats the monsters, but, you know, everything is made by drones, so, you know. The CGI, some people said the CGI in this movie is not that great, but it's still better than, you know, Cats, okay? I think this movie is worthy of being in the best visuals category. You know, this movie, is that, the top, the 20 movies that were nominated for best visuals, I think this movie is kind of worthy of being the top 20 at least. Because only CGI in this movie does look pretty good at points, you know, especially if the monsters, they actually look uh, pretty real. But you know, the giant monsters that Mysterio is fighting, they actually look like something, you know, that would actually exist and, you know, that could actually, you know. And basically, you know, the whole point of, you know, the part is pretty good in this movie. It's Mysterio, it's about, it's about Spider-Man. He has to go to Europe, so he has to go on vacation in Europe. But everywhere he goes, something bad happens, you know, Mysterio has to defeat a monster, Nick Fury basically hijacks the invasion and stuff, you know, Mysterio and Nick Fury basically hijack the invasion, so it wasn't really a vacation, it was, you know, you know, basically, then at the end, Mysterio is just trying to kill all the kids because they want, because, because, you know, Mysterio thinks it can only be one hero, so Mysterio can keep tricking people into thinking he's a hero, but, he isn't really a hero, he's a projection, and the real Mysterio is basically a guy being protected by drones, and all of his illusions are actually made by drones, you know, trying to, you know, trick this, uh, trick people, and he's actually a pretty great villain, I just wanted to go over that, so that's basically about Mysterio, overall, I think it's probably, until I see Spider-Man and spider versus it's probably the best Spider-Man movie I've seen, okay, Mysterio is a great villain, the storyline is great, the plot is, you know, great, you know, the characters are actually pretty great in this movie, specifically the villain, I think Mysterio's part, again, I said again, Mysterio's probably in the top three MCU villains, you know, I think people are going to remember him over Malkreath and, you know, For the Dark World, okay, you know, recently the MCU has given us some better villains, with the exception of Captain Marvel, but, you know, Marvel has really stepped on the games of villains, Overall, with the exception of Ant-Man, The Wasp, and Captain Marvel, over the past few years, yes, Marvel has really stepped away on giving us much more better villain characters than they used to back in the early days, where the only memorable villain from the early days were, you know, Loki, which was in the Avengers, and Thor, so he's villain in two movies, basically, and Red Skull, because, you know, he's basically, you know, the most memorable villain from, you know, the entire phase one and phase two, the 
There was the Planet guy. I can I remember that guy. And there's the Bolter guy, which he's also a pretty great villain in Spider-Man Homecoming. No, I think Spider-Man Homecoming is free. Spider-Man Homecoming is phase two. I think. And of course, there's the evil girl from 4 who basically wants to destroy the world. Basically, you know, villains. In terms of villains, I think, you know, there's a lot of, excuse me, but there's a lot of good villains in, you know, and, you know, Mysterio is basically a good villain because he tricked us into thinking he was going to be a good guy. I honestly thought Mysterio by his trailers was going to be a good guy in the movie, okay? And, you know, I honestly thought, oh, they might be actually changing Mysterio to become a good guy. But, he's a good, he's basically like the, he's basically, you know, a better, he basically tricks society better than the Joker did. And that's, a, that's basically how it is. He, he can't fool everybody in the very briefing you're a superhero, but you're not really, you're really a bad guy who, you know, and, that, and also his backstory was pretty great too, where he, well I, well he was working with Iron Man, but, you know, Iron Man, you know, ruined his inventions, turned him into, renamed a fart, you know, so overall, I give this movie a 9 out of 10. Out of 10, out of 10, a 9 out of 10. And that, and the story part and CGI and characters are all good. Um, hopefully Marvel does not go down the rabbit hole that I'm predicting they will after, you know, Black Widow. Okay, hopefully they continue this level of quality so you can have more enjoyable movies for the future. Goodbye. But no, little Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, I need a bad part of the movie. Okay, we'll okay, be back, okay. Bad part of the movie, okay, when they met the Captain Marvel name, and they said, don't talk about her, because that's what we, you know, Nick Fury is like, because Captain Marvel was just, you know, if Captain Marvel did, she was like, oh, I'm Mary Sue, if it was about Captain Marvel, yeah, he, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, Nick Fury, to keep Captain Marvel out of this movie, because they could have tried to put Captain Marvel in this movie, but it, it would have made this movie way, way worse, because we would have to deal with Brie Watson's ego, okay, I'm done talking, blah, 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 goodbye.